Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are looking, we're continuing with standing balance, balancing poses, particularly looking at tree pose and half march, which is a pose that Steph and I teach a lot here at Molly Yoga. Yeah, for us, that's where we start all of our standing balance work. So what is half march? Simply shifting the weight from two feet to one foot and then flexing the thigh at the hip joint, picking the leg up, half march. Some of the key actions that we're looking for when we are doing half march are core stability and hip stability. Right, if we're going to shift that weight, we've got to make sure that the leg holding us can hold us and then have that engagement of the deep core. Continuing with the key actions, hip flexion, knee flexion, and ankle dorsiflexion. Now when in this pose these guys are flexing, the hip flexors flex, right, on the standing leg the extenders extend. We need to talk about the extensors on the standing leg because it's not so obvious um, when we come into this pose. But if I'm not engaging my extensors, I'm so front loaded here, I'm going to go forward. And collapse. And deflection. Yeah, and collapse. <laughs> the reason that we started teaching this as the foundation for our standing balance work is that we noticed when folks were flexing the hip, they were actually hiking the hip. This isn't hip flexion. This is hip flexion. That's a hip hike. They're completely different actions. Here's how we instruct half march in class. Push down through your standing leg foot to activate your extensors. Pull up to find your flexors. Once you're stable here, you can add the more complicated actions of horizontal abduction, knee flexion, and external rotation. Ange is going to show you the wobble board, which is what we teach at Mala all the time. Right, Ange? Yep. Yes. Okay. So once your, your half march is stable, challenge it by going up on a rolled up blanket with a block parallel to the long edge of your mat. Starting with two feet on two blocks is a great place because it really starts to activate that core stabilization. And as you shift the weight, you really can't sink. If you're going to sink, you're going to fall immediately, which is great for that gluteus medius. Like half march. Here's a static way that you can work the key actions of half march. I like taking a cotton yoga strap, looping it around my standing leg foot, and pushing my thigh and up into that strap. That teaches the key actions of pushing down to pull up. 